Chubble's Tale Author Savidri Singh Illustrator Sanjay Sarkar Translator Ridu Singh Once there was a squirrel A very naughty, lively little squirrel named Chubble Up a tree in a blink and down before you could wink Sometimes she would stand on her two little legs, sometimes she would chase birds. One day Chubble was sitting on the branch of a tree, munching walnuts. Suddenly her gaze fell upon her tail. Ha! Huh. muttered Chubble to herself. What good is a tail like this? So light that you can't even feel it is there. In the hospital was a cupboard where tails, legs and ears of different animals were kept. I shall look for a suitable tail for myself, while I wait for Dr. Bombo thought Chobel, and began to examine them. After a long time, she chose the tail of a monkey. As soon as Dr. Bombo arrived, Chobel came to his table. Please, Dr. Bombo, could you fix this monkey's tail on me? She asked. Dr. Bombo peered at her over his glasses and asked, what on earth for? What's the matter with your tail? All right. As you wish. I shall change your tail but Dr. Bombo replied pushing his glasses further up on his nose. Chubble was delighted. Dr. Bombo removed her tail and fixed the monkey's tail on her instead. Now that's what I call a real tail said Chubble as she pranced about gleefully. Now I can also sit on branches high up, with my tail hanging down like the monkeys. Delighted with the idea. Chubble left the hospital. But oh dear. What is this? I can hardly walk, and why does my body feel so heavy? No way. This tail is not right. I shall have to change it said Chubble to herself and try to pick up her long tail with her hand. Thus, Staggering along, she reached Dr. Bombo's hospital once more. Please doctor, this tail is far too heavy for me. Could you fix a lighter one? Chubble asked in a tired voice. I told you so doctor. Bombo scolded Chubble. I am sorry, doctor. Bombo. You can fix a cat's tail on me this time, suggested Chobel. Doctor. Bombo removed the heavy tail and attached a cat's tail in its place. Well, at least this is lighter than the earlier one, thought Chobel. The change of tails had tired her out, so she simply lay down behind a tree to rest. She was so tired that she soon fell asleep. Suddenly a loud noise woke her up. Oh my god. That dog thinks I am a cat and he's coming for me. Yelled Chubble and ran for her life. The dog came after her as Chubble raced ahead. Oh no. I can't even run with this tail. My own dear tail was so light. I could run so well with it Chubble repented. Stumbling and falling, she managed to reach Dr. Bombo's hospital yet again. Help! Dr. Bombo! Help! Cried Chubble and ran inside. The dog stood outside but kept on barking. What is it now? Asked Dr. Bombo. My tail is the best so furry and light. I can scamper all day and dance through the night.